Hi, everybody. Good. Hi, everybody. Hi, me. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, guys. Uh, Me escuchan con echo? Am I having a little bit of echo? Yes. Okay. Give me just a second. Hold on. I think I have some. Okay, let me see if I can change my computer. So everybody, thanks a lot for joining today's class. Happy Wednesday. ¿Me escuchan mejor o todavía tengo un poquito de eco? Much better. Much better, okay. Okay, very, very good. Just a sec here. And I am mute. Okay, everybody. So thanks a lot. Uh, thanks everybody for joining today's class. Happy Wednesday. Espero que estén teniendo un muy eh, buen día, you know, and a good Wednesday as well. Llegamos al ombliguito de la semana. Terminamos el día de ahora la unidad número uno. So time is flying. So el tiempo no se nos está yendo volando, you know. Um, thanks a lot a quienes ya me avanzaron bastante con la plataforma. I saw, algunos les faltaba un ejercicio, solamente dos ejercicios, right? Um, si todavía nos faltan, tenemos hasta el día de ahora. So we have today para poderlos terminar. No es tan difíciles, I think, no están muy largos. Um, vamos a ver al finalizar la clase un par de troubleshooting que podemos hacer, un par de, um, de como, um, let's say, I forgot in the word. <laughs> okay. Hay un par de ejercicios que les están dando problemas. I know que quizás el orden no está, eh, no es, no se los está tomando en el ejercicio 2 especialmente. So al finalizar la clase lo vamos a revisar, you know. O si tienen una pregunta adicional, we can check that out as well. Um, today we are going to review parte de los, del vocabulario que hemos estado revisando con um, interview questions, vocabulary related to jobs, speaking practice, and things like those. Antes de iniciar, no sé si alguien tiene alguna duda, alguna pregunta con respecto a la plataforma. Eh, Pedrina, no sé si le funcionó o todavía tiene los mismos issues con, con el ejercicio número dos. O ya se los tomó. Creo que Pedrina estaba teniendo dificultades. Yeah. Guadalupe ya estamos, right? Guadalupe, we are ready. Hi, Miss. Hi, Denise. Yo probé eh, cambiando staff por... Employee. Pero, pero no me reconoce. No le funciona. Vaya, okay. ok. Si gusta al finalizar la clase lo revisamos. We can okay. check it out. Uh -huh. eh, porque sí, hay como un par de, de tips que podemos utilizar para que ya nos lo reconozca. Eh, okay. uh -huh. That's just fine. Ok. Todos tienen acceso, right? A nadie se le, ha bloqueado, se le ha bloqueado el acceso. Todos tienen su contraseña. Yes. Yes. Teacher. Okay. Yes, Norbert. Solamente con el manual del estudiante, fíjese que solo me carga hasta la página 6 y no puedo descargarlo. Eh, ¿Se refiere a que está en la plataforma o al que nos compartieron los, los compañeros de administración? Mm, el que está en la plataforma. Ok, ahí sí. Eh, de hecho, los compañeros nos compartieron, eh, probablemente haya un glitch en la plataforma, pero los compañeros... En el grupo. Yes. 
Y estoy hablando bien, tranquilamente. <risa> dice en el grupo de WhatsApp, dice SB6, SB6. Es, no, SB6, con el número 6. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. okay. Es un PDF de los, eh, fue, okay. si no me equivoco, el primer día de clases. Entonces, por si tiene alguna dificultad, lo puede descargar directamente de WhatsApp. Uh -huh. Ok, gracias, lo voy a buscar. Sí, y me confirma, si no, se lo vuelvo a compartir. No hay ningún problema. That's all right. Hey, thank you, Miss. Uh -huh. Ok, guys, so, to get started, vamos a comenzar. Eh, I'm going to take your attendance. Si me ayudan un momentito, porfa, con su cámara. That would be amazing. Y me regalan confirmación, right? Están por acá también. Denme un segundo, que me ya está set. So I have uh, Delmi, Anita, Brian, uh, Danny, Danny Anthony, Danis, Gracias, uh, Dolores, present, Gracias, present. Eduardo. Present. Thank you so much. Eh, Guadalupe. Present. Está por ahí. Gracias. Eh, Jocelyn. Jackie. Present. Miss. Gracias, Jackie. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, uh, teacher. Gracias, Jocelyn. Thank you. Um, Ignacio. Norbert. Present teacher. Gracias. Eh, Marvin Bonilla. Marvin, Marvin López. Larry. Hello, Miss. Good evening. Hola, Miss. Good evening. Moses. Gracias, Moses. Nelson. Pedrina. René. Present, present, teacher. Gracias, René. Richard. Present, teacher. Present. Hola, Richard. Good evening. Hello. Mabel. Brenda, vi a Brenda super tempranito there. Hi, Brenda. Thank you. Carlos. Carlos creo que estaba en el trabajo todavía. Claudia. Karina. Teacher, estoy en el trabajo todavía. Thank you. Okay, Claudia. Okay, thank you, Claudia. Dame un segundito. Present, Marvin, teacher. Thank you, Marvin. Sorry, guys. I had to mute you a little bit. Okay. Y creo que vi a Karina por ahí también. Thank you, so Karina. So, Marvin, good evening. Yes. Good evening, teacher. Marvin, thank you, Lopez. Okay, I got Bonilla. Marvin Lopez, no está acá. Marvin, 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 no. But I do see Nelson and I see Brian too. Hi guys, good evening. Good evening, teacher. So Hi, good evening. Thank you. Anita, no sé si Anita ya entró. No. Okay, okay guys, thank you. So thank you so much for uh, joining today's class. Let's get started with part of the things that we are going to be checking. Mm, un segundo, solo reviso los mensajes. Oh, gracias por compartirlo. Thank you so much for sharing, Danis. You're welcome. Okay, so um, 
Si no tienen el material todavía, eh, Danis nos lo acaba de compartir el PDF acá también. Or it is in your WhatsApp, right? El que le salga más fácil de descargar. So, um, I didn't open it up. Okay, give me one second. Les presento mi pantalla. Let me present my screen. Eh, antes de presentárselas, tell me. ¿Qué vocabulario se recuerdan de ayer? ¿Qué vimos, guys? What did we study? What did we check? ¿Revisaron el vocabulario de ayer? Did you check it? By any chance? About, eh, teacher, uh, yes. About, uh, 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 about, 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 y motivación. Motivation. Motivation. Okay. Uh, nice shift. Oh, okay. Sí, vimos la palabra shift. Exactly. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Goal, también. Goal. Okay. Goal, available. Exactly. Uh, ¿cómo, ¿Cómo se pronuncia eso? Available. No, no. Or goal. Goal. Uh, igual que fútbol. <laughs> goal. Eh, sí, goal. de hecho sí, igual que fútbol. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Goal, correct. ¿Qué más se recuerdan? Uh, What else did we check? TV, resumen. A resume, uh -huh. yes. a resume. What else do you remember? Aburrido estar en el encierro, pero ni modo. Sí, verdad. <laughs> Brenda, bastante, creo que el micrófono no tiene open. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> no, I, I thought you were sharing that, so it's okay. We totally understand. Okay, guys. So, ayer estuvimos viendo esas palabritas, right? Como CV, resume. We also check available, availability. ¿Qué más se recuerdan? What do you remember? Uh, use benefits. Benefits, employee benefits, exactly. Shift, like morning shift, night shift. Mm -hmm. Algo más, anything else? Previous experience. Previous experience, okay, excellent. Very, very nice. So, antes de presentarles el vocabulario de ahora, let's take a look at a little warm up here. It says, wishes. We are going to talk about wishes, guys. Have you ever seen the movie Aladdin? Se han visto like Aladdin y los 40 ladrones and the 40 thieves. So they have like a little lamp. They rub it y les concede three wishes. Imagine oh. you find this lamp, all right? So what are your three wishes? Can you give us some ideas? What, what would you wish for? What do you wish for? ¿Cuáles serían sus tres deseos? Which are your three wishes? I would like to be rich. <laughs> you like to be rich? Okay. Everybody. <laughs> okay, nice. More wishes? Uh, uh, uh -huh. My wishes be um I don't I don't remember whether you say millionario, millionaire. 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 Oh, this you like to wish. be a millionaire. Okay, to have a lot of money, to be a millionaire. Okay. What about the rest? Do you, uh, you have any please, wish? Finish the coronavirus or use? Yeah, to uh, finish coronavirus. Okay, not to be, not to have coronavirus anymore. Okay, not to have finish, COVID. Finish Did you say <laughs> Teleton? No, reggaeton. Oh, <laughs> to, finish, to disappear. No, so the no, reggaeton no, disappears. No, 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 no. I heard I heard you say teleton. No. <laughs> okay. To finish or to disappear reggaeton. Okay. Uh, okay. That's okay. What about the rest of you? So guys, ¿qué desearían? What would you what do you wish for? Miss. Yes. My wish uh is a little crazy. No, uh, how do you say uh, para decir de estar de un lugar a otro, pero así rápidamente? <laughs> Teleportation, <laughs> yes. like Dragon Ball. <laughs> yeah, I want to visit my friend. Can fly. Uh, fly. Okay. Teacher, uh, my other wish is don't uh, animal abuse. 
uh, like like to respect all animals. Yeah, all animals. Yes. Okay, yes. that people respect In animals. Include, include the, the cats. <laughs> I remember uh, you, you uh, had cats a lot. A human. I don't like cats. I, I mean, it's I not that... I remember that you don't like cats. I, I, I don't abuse cats. I don't mistreat them. No, es que los trate mal or anything. I don't kick them. Just I don't like don't them. Like it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Just I don't like them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, like but dogs? A... What is it? Dogs? dogs? Like oh, this. I really love them. Yes, I love yeah. them. I love yeah. all pets. I think pets? they are really cute, yeah. but except uh, cats. Pets. I cannot <laughs> see cats. It's, it's, it's yeah. Uh, yeah, it's okay. Yeah. It's beautiful. <laughs> I'm okay. Yeah. Not my favorite, but it's okay. <laughs> oh, but that's okay. So respect animals. So you okay. wish animals were respected. Mm -hmm. Any other wish? People, do you have wishes in your lives? So what are your wishes? Never order. Well, look. Never order. Never. Ah, never Wonder. get older. Ooh, that's a beautiful <laughs> wish. <laughs> Youth, uh-huh, like forever young. Oh. <laughs> you want to be forever young, okay. Or or oh, forever delgado, right? Oh. <laughs> or forever skinny, forever thin. Can, can uh -huh. eat a lot and don't uh -huh. Don't get fat. <laughs> don't get fat. So, oh, that, that's yeah. definitely a wish. I, I didn't it think about it. Mm -hmm. So what about the rest of you? Norbert, what's your wish? Nelson, what's your wish? Moses, mm, what are my your wish, three wishes? Uh, mm -hmm. My wish is... Uh, uh, travel uh, USA. Okay. Yeah. It's solo USA. <laughs> because yeah. you can ask whatever you want. Only USA? No. Um, Spain or France. Okay. So Spain, France. Well, my wish is to travel around the world, right? That would be amazing. That would be just beautiful. Okay, anybody else? Do you have another wish? Marvin, Eduardo, do you have a wish you want to share? Richard, Richard is having a lot. Buying it, Yes, I believe selective oil audio. Yeah. Okay, okay. So I no wish I had the Paris Saint Germain issue. <laughs> With Messi at the back. <laughs> yeah. Okay. This is the principal race. Oh, I love I like El Salvador shirt. Ya la vieron. Have you seen the colors? Yes. yes like the new shirt. La la yes. No, the no. The one from El Salvador, the black one. It's okay, so okay. beautiful. Unfortunately, it's very expensive, but it's really yes. beautiful. The black yeah, yeah. one, I like it. the price? I don't know, like 70, I think, 50 or 70, I'm not sure. But yes. for a shirt, <laughs> for a, for a t-shirt. And don't have a uh, existencia. <laughs> ah, there are not, exactly. There are not in a stock. Ni siquiera las han hecho. <laughs> Five, five, so dollar, five, dollar. five dollars in the black market. In shopping center. Yeah. No, you will not find it there. <laughs> because <laughs> it's the new one. Uh -huh. Okay, but really nice. Yesterday we checked this vocabulary, guys. So like resume, shift, you already told me, availability, benefit, references goal etc etc so today we are going to check just yes, some good expressions not always or not only for jobs but in general conversations um for example if i tell you teacher, teacher i'm yes, sorry uh, tell me que la interrumpa pero yo no no me logré conectar antes todavía no he llegado a casa pero no entendí que era wishes no 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 ah, algo, pero no sé qué no, sé qué no, no se preocupe no worries so uh -huh. wishes son deseos 
So uh -huh. what do you wish for? Ajá, uh -huh. que desea, right? So those uh -huh. are wishes. Como cuando usted dice, uh, what is your wish? Quiero tener dinero. <laughs> so I would oh, like okay. to be rich. I would like to have money. Uh -huh. So those are wishes, deseos that you have. Uh -huh. what, is, what is your wish, Mabel? Um, travel, to travel. Um, um, difference. Tunku Beach. <laughs> travel far away. <laughs> so travel far away, I guess, not just in El Salvador. Okay. Yeah, exactly. So travel, have money, or health, salud, right? Sometimes we also ask for health or for a better job, or I don't know. So whatever you want, this is a wish. Mm -hmm. That is the my, my own business. Oh, yeah, your own business. Sounds um, great. Pero si es como, como un wish, es algo que, que yo deseo, no necesariamente se va a cumplir. Um, en vez del, del business, yo pediría el dinero. No. <laughs> so I would like to have the money. <laughs> okay, Richard, now that the business is nice. Richard? Uh, three wish. My mm -hmm. case, my case, uh, money. Money. Uh, travel. Mm -hmm. um, salud, ¿cómo se dijo? Salud, health. Health, health. health. Mm -hmm. yes. and help uh, forever yes. young yes. forever young yes. <laughs> forever skinny this is important yes this, okay. this is the world Only. okay forever okay. young millionaire and healthy yeah so healthy skinny and young yes. Yes. <laughs> forever okay. skinny and okay. handsome oh and Pensing handsome engordar. or or pretty right for girls mm -hmm. Exactly. So those are wishes. No es algo That's real. Good. It's only something that we want, right? René okay. dice que él desea que no se acabe la, la Pilsener. The beauty. Okay. <laughs> membresi, membresi, membresi for, for life. For uh, life. For life. Beer. A beer, a, a gas station. Quiere uh, tener una dotación. Uh -huh. yes, a membership. Yes, yes guys, para travel. Guys, que lo que dicen de, de René, si sí, René es súper sano. <laughs> Mentira, ya, ya no voy a tomar, ya no voy a tomar. Ya, pero agua. Las cosas a pecho. No, no, you, pero agua. You made him feel bad. El, el muchachito ni toma y se está molestando. Yes, exactly. So he's defiendo, very healthy. Te okay. Igual Dani, Dani no toma. No, no. A Dani, a Dani no. le gusta el perro sucio. No, he wants that to disappear. So let's take a look at some expressions right here. For example, I am so glad. Normally, cuando alguien nos dice eh, algo positivo que le sucedió, no solo es como, ah, ok. <laughs> Imagine I tell you, hey, I won the lottery. ¿Qué le dirían? Okay. What would you say to that person? If I oh. tell you, hey, I passed the exam. I won the lottery. I got the visa. ¿Cómo le respondería? That's amazing. Mm, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. Any other way? <laughs> okay. Normally, reaccionamos, right? No solo como, ah, okay. <laughs> so, this first expression. Repuesta de padre. No, <laughs> like, <laughs> congratulations. That's amazing. amazing. Great. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay. Also, oh, we have this expression. Oh, oh, I'm so glad. Yeah. Oh. I'm so glad to hear that. So, me alegra. I'm so glad. That is the expression that we have here. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that. I'm glad, right? Um, the second one says, let's start the interview, but that is very specific for interviews, or let's start the meeting, let's start the conversation, let's start practicing. That would be the, that one. Si quiero enumerar algo, like primero que nada. So I normally say first of all, right? First of all, first of all. First of all. So, cuando lo decimos rápido, suena como first of all, first yeah. of all. First so, of let's all. repeat it. First of all. First of first all. all. Mm -hmm. First of all. First, first of all. all. First of all. Mm -hmm. First of all. So, that is like primero, first of all. Uh, first then we have as soon as possible. As soon as possible, or la forma corta is S ASAP. Right? So probably, si escriben emails, o si alguna vez reciben un email, or a text message, y dice ASAP, or ASAP, 
right? ASAP. That means, lo quiero ahorita, right? As soon as possible. I need it lo más rápido que se pueda. Mm -hmm. As soon as possible. The other one says entry level position. Um, yesterday, estábamos uh, hablando un poquito like with different positions, like management, etc. Y esta, esta que es entry level position. An entry level position es como el primer, el primer peldaño, right? Mm. No es una posición de, de las superiores. So an entry level position. The other one says on a daily basis. So on a daily basis, probably you will hear this one. Son actividades que hago todos los días, right? On a daily basis. So if I ask you, oh, what do you do every day? Todos los días envío emails. On a daily basis, I have to send 20 emails, right? So on a daily basis. Como en, yeah, todos los días, diariamente. Um, the other one says, I am willing to. So willing is como yo tengo la disposición de hacer algo. Oh, yo quiero ayudarte. I am willing to help. Yo tengo la disposición de ayudarte, right? Uh, quiero escucharte. I am willing to listen to you. So willing es que tengo el deseo de hacer algo. Questions? Preguntas hasta ahorita? Do you have any question with this one? No. No? We're good. Then we have other expressions like that's great, right? I'm so glad. That's great. Yes, Richard. Esa, esa, esas expresiones son las más comunes en una conversación. Y... Sí. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, son bastante comunes. They are expressions used in a conversation, no necesariamente en una entrevista, but yes. Mm -hmm. y, esa, y esa palabra que dice G, eh, glass, glass, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Eh, La primera, I, I am so glad. glad. I'm glad. Mm -hmm. I'm glad. Oh, yes, okay. if I tell you, hey, I passed the, the university exam. Oh, I'm so happy for you. That's great. Or I'm so glad. I'm glad to hear that. Me alegre escucharlo. So I'm glad. Mm -hmm. I'm glad to oh, hear boy. that. This is the one. Okay. So glad es como feliz, right? Another way to say feliz. Mm -hmm. Then we have work part-time. So los que trabajan medio tiempo, right? So they work part-time. <laughs> We have this question, what are you looking for in a job? Like, ¿qué, bus ¿qué buscas, right? What are you looking for? Put into practice. Como digo, debo de practicarlo, debo de ponerlo en práctica. So this is the, the expression. I put into practice. Yes. Mm -hmm. Necesito practicarlo. I need to put into practice. Mm -hmm. Also, we have hardworking person, like alguien trabajador o trabajadora. I me. think everybody is me. a hardworking person. So, todos son trabajadores. I am, yeah. That's a hardworking person. <laughs> also, we have fast learner, que aprende rápido. Ayer escuché Guadalupe nos usaba esta palabra. Very good, Guadalupe. So, I am a fast learner. Yo aprendo rápido, right? Um, normally, they ask you, eh, ¿Cómo se lleva con los compañeros? So, you can use this expression. I get along with everybody. Or I get along fine with everybody. So get along is, tengo una buena relación, right? I get along with everybody. Me llevo bien con todos. Guys, do you get along with everybody? Uh, with your co-workers? Con sus yes. compañeros de trabajo? Do you get along yes. with them? Yes. 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 I yes. get along fine with Renee and Marvin. Ah, okay. So you get along with them. All right. What about your neighbors? Se llevan bien con That's los vecinos? <laughs> That's yes. a dream. Do you get along with your neighbors? Se llevan bien con el vecino? Yes. My neighbor is great. Yes. Okay. He's great. What about your family? Do you okay? get along? Do you get along with your family? Se llevan bien con brothers, sisters, uncles, yes. aunts. Yeah. So get along is that. Me llevo bien con todos. I get along with everybody. I have a good relationship with everybody. Uh, the other one we have is I don't mind. So mind is como mente, pero en esa expresión I don't mind is como no me molesta hacer algo, right? I don't mind, no me molesta. And we have just three expressions more that can be very useful. So we have... Teacher. 
se me olvida que me estoy muteando. Okay, so we have work long hours. I can handle the situation, guys. Repitamos este verbo, por favor. Handle. I can handle the situation. So handle. I can handle. 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 handle es manejar. I can handle the situation. Oh. Yo, yo lo puedo yes. manejar la situación. No worries. Yo puedo manejar a Norberto. Puedo trabajar con él. I can handle the situation with Norberto. So handle es manejar, right? Es solucionar, tomar control de algo. And the last one is have an opportunity. Are we okay so far? Are we good? Vamos a ponerles en práctica. We are going to put, in, put them into practice today. Preguntas, questions? No, miss. No questions? Richard? Oh, okay. Creo que Pedrina tiene problemas. Uh, Richard, acabo de ver su mensaje. I just saw your message. So, uh, it's fine. It's okay. No worries. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay, guys. So, let's take a look at the following conversation we have right here, que es con respecto a una job interview. Deme un segundo. Okay, there we go. So, I need Mike and John. I just need two volunteers. ¿Quién quiere leer? Who wants to read today? I Thank you, Danny. So, you can help us with Mike. And who wants to be joined? Hello. Yo. Hi. Who is me? Who is I? <laughs> okay, Brian. <laughs> I think that was you. Um, so help us with John, please. Okay. Okay. So that is whenever you are ready. Perfect. Good morning, John. I am Mike. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. Thank you. How was the traffic coming over here? I'm so glad that the traffic was light this morning. No traffic jam and um, no accidents. That is good, John. Let's start the interview. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Uh, first of all, let's uh, probably introduce myself. I am the finance department manager. The parliament manager. As you know, there is a uh, open position in my department. I need to fill this position as soon as possible. Please tell me a little bit about the position. There is a entry level position. The new employee will have to work closely with the accounting department. He will also have to deal with the bank on a daily basis. What type of qualification do you require? Amazing, thank you guys. That was a very nice one. Okay, let's take a look at this. If you check it out, um, this is a good example of a job interview que va desde el inicio, es del hola, ¿cómo estás, right? And, and if you remember your last interview, Normalmente le preguntan, hola, ¿qué, qué tal? You know, ¿qué, ¿cómo está? No, es de un solo. <laughs> Tell me about yourself, right? So there is a little bit of uh, interaction. Let's take a look at the way they use the expressions. Acabamos de ver, por ejemplo, uh, this one that says, uh, um, oh, wait, where are they? Entry, uh, entry level position, por ejemplo. Yeah, we saw... How? First of all, exactly. First of all. So some expressions are here. A daily basis. ¿Qué era daily basis? What is the meaning of this one? The person says, we, he will also have to deal with the bank on a daily basis. What is the meaning of daily basis? Lo que hacemos a diario. Yes, exactly, exactly. So daily basis is a diario. That this person tiene que lidiar con ellos. So he will have to deal with. 
deal with es como lidiar con, right? Deal with mm. the bank o tratar con. So he has to deal with the bank on a daily basis. Todos los días, they have to get in contact with the bank. So on a daily basis, con quien, um, a quien tratan? Or what do you deal with? Or who do you deal with every day? I deal with people every day. <laughs> so yo trato a personas, right? I deal with. Mm -hmm. I deal with. What about you? Mm -hmm. ¿Qué yeah. hacen ustedes? What do you do? I deal with people. You deal with people? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I deal, with, I deal with the person who works at the customs. Okay. Okay. But do you work directly with customers? No. Uh, uh, I work in import. Oh, okay. So Which probably, is... okay, probably you deal with, co ah, with customs. I got it. Customs. I thought you meant customer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Got it. In customs. Mm -hmm. What do you deal with? Con que mas tratan? Um, Papers, emails, phone calls, angry customers, happy people, <laughs> your boss. So deal with incluye todo lo que tratan, right? I deal with my boss. I have to deal with my boss. They will, you know, tratarlo. So that is the, the way we use it. Okay. okay. Um, questions with this? Or estamos super bien? Are we good with this? I think we got the vocabulary. I think we got this part. Yes. Palabras nuevas, no new words. Good. Yo tengo una frase nueva, teacher. Go. La vi en un comentario de un amigo y me llamó la atención cómo lo había puesto. Mm -hmm. Entonces, que había, eh, le habían puesto comentario, él puso, would be great, my friend. Oh, Entonces, that would be great. Mm -hmm. ajá, y en la traducción es como me gustaría mucho, pero a mí me costó entenderlo por cómo usaba la palabra. Entonces, no, ahora la, la han andado repitiendo todos estos días y ya, ve, ya sé cómo contestar cuando me pregunten algo así como para <ríe> llegar. Sí. Ok. Uh, so, creería que es esta. That would be great, my friend, you said. Yes, okay. yes. Uh -huh. Solo que le han quitado el dat. All right, yeah. Ajá, correcto, como, le quitaron uh -huh. el dat. Yes, so it would be great. Es como, sería bueno. We use cabal, the expression in cabal. Spanish, eh, sería bueno. Eh, uh -huh. Ajá, es como, también ahí ponían incoming, como llego, lo, lo, lo traduce así como llego o, o que o quisiera llegar, pero lo, lo, le quitan algunas palabras, como que uh -huh. lo hacen más simple. Sí, más corto. So you can make it shorter. That, that is a really good expression. Like when you say, hey, let's go to the movie someday. Yeah, eso sería bueno. That would be great. So, uh -huh. would be great, my friend. Mm -hmm. So cabal, that is cabal. the one, yes. Oh, that's a very good expression. It, uh, it could be, that would be great, como eso sería genial, or it would be great, ambas funcionan. It would be great, sería bueno, right? Mm -hmm. mm. Yes, that's a nice expression. Alrighty. Uh, let me just stop it here and let me go back to the original conversation. Okay, so if we don't have any questions, solamente vamos a revisar really quick, simple past, un poquito de since and for, y luego tenemos some reading practice. Um, help me please with the verbs in simple past. Let me see. For some reason, siento que ya hicimos este ejercicio. Did we complete the exercise by any chance? No. Estoy teniendo un déjà vu, I think. <laughs> I'm having a déjà vu here. We didn't complete it? No. Oh, okay. So that was my déjà vu. Okay, so help me with the exercise then. Um, number one, for example, using simple past. What would be the form in simple past? So it says I. I did my math homework yesterday. Exactly, I did my math homework. Very good. What about number two, Susan? No le pongan atención al signo de interrogación. Susan? Went Go. Went. En pasado, that would be? Susan went, exactly. Susan went to yeah. England. What about number three? They visited. Exactly. They visited a farm two weeks ago. Very good. Number four, Jenny and Peggy. 
¿Cómo digo no ayudaron? So, Jenny and Peggy. Didn't help. Exactly. Didn't help. Very good. Number five, the children. The children. I want to say que no estuvieron yes. en casa. So the children. Didn't. No estuvieron. Mm. Home Can you repeat that, please? Children weren't at home last weekend. Exactly. Children weren't at home. Very good. So children weren't at home last weekend. So remember, con el verbo to be, tenemos solo was and were. So children weren't at home. Number six. When. Es una pregunta. When. When are you? Do you the, to design? Para preguntas necesito un auxiliar. ¿Cuál sería el auxiliar? What would be the auxiliary here? Do you? Mm, ¿Y para Do? pasado? Did. Yeah. When did? Okay. When did you? Design. Design. Very good. When did you design this wonderful skirt? Mm -hmm. When did you design? Number seven. My mother. Negative. Okay, y en pasado, and in past. Uh, when? Voy a cambiar el dasen por el otro auxiliar de pasado. So, my mother, por ahí lo escuché. Didn't. Where? Didn't, exactly. My mother didn't crash. No cambio el verbo, I cannot change it. So my mother didn't crash. Mm -hmm. I didn't remember. Pasado negativo, didn't. I didn't go, I didn't eat, I didn't work, I didn't help, so didn't. Number eight, my, the boys. What is the pass of take? The boys took, exactly. So the boys took off the mudguards of their bicycle. Mm -hmm. Like el guardafango, right? So the boys took off the mudguards. Number nine. This is a question. ¿Qué necesito para pregunta? What do I need? Did. Did. Okay. Did you? To phone. Mm -hmm. Did you phone? Exactly. Aquí les han agregado el to, pero como estamos cambiándolo, ninguna lleva to, right? Okay. Solo está acá, por ejemplo. So, did you phone your aunt last week? Very nice. Y la última, that is negative. He didn't drink. He didn't drink milk at school. Very good. We got it. Very, very nice. Okay. Let's complete just one more exercise with since or for. Recordamos un poquito cómo voy a utilizar el since and for. Since lo uso para... ¿Para qué tipo de actividades? When do I use since? ¿O cuando uso for? Since is uh. when... Start. Sing is when they start, uh, when they begin in action. Mm -hmm. or Very yeah. good. Exactly. Yeah. And for? Para expresar la duración de algo. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. So, revisamos cuál voy a utilizar in these exercises. For example, number one, uh, let me just pick some people here. Uh, Brenda, help us with number one, please. Nobody, nobody has seen him. And we have last Friday. Since last Friday or for last Friday. What do you think? Since. I see Brenda moving, but I don't know if she is with us. Me mm escucha, -hmm. teacher. Ahora sí, ahora sí, I can hear you now. Sorry, for last Friday. 
Ok, so let's check it out one more time. Eh, since es cuando el primer momento, you know, cuando algo pasó. And for es por cuánto tiempo, un día, dos días, un mes, un año, una década, ah, okay. mm -hmm, etc. So sí. last Friday sería el tiempo que ha tardado sí. o cuando comenzó, cuando fue el inicio. Sí. Last Friday. Since last Friday. Ok, sí. very good. Thank you. Not word number two. It has been foggy, right? Ha estado neblinado. It has been foggy. Y dice for, uh, for or since some days. Uh, for some, some days. For some days. Very good. Number three. What about number three, Moses? It, um, he has been fishing six o'clock. Desde las seis or por las seis. Since or for? He has been fishing. Since sí, mm, eh, six o'clock, exactly, porque es ahora comenzaron, right? Eh, Eduardo, number five, number four, sorry. They have been living in France for eight years. Very good, there we go. Eh, Clary, what about number five? The pilots have been on a strike. Miss, I'm sorry. Uh, what's the meaning gaps? Uh, I'm sorry. What is the meaning of? <clears throat> Se refiere a las, a las oraciones gaps. Mm, oh, yeah. No, I mean, I mean, here's uh, el gap es este espacio. Ajá. Uh -huh. so, uh -huh, the gap is only this. Oh. Sí, solo vamos a escoger si es uh, for or... The, or since, cualquiera de estas dos. Mm -hmm. um, so, number five, or, what do you think? Uh, I don't know, for two months. For two months, exactly. So, that would be por dos meses, right? For two months. Mm -hmm. Very nice. What about number six? They have had, we have had terrible weather. Um, I think Claudia is working. Alex, no sé si ya llegó a su casa, Alex. Are you working? Yes, teacher, I, I be. All right. Do you have number six? We have had terrible weather. Uh, since or for Saturday? Or since Saturday? For Saturday. No. Since, since Saturday? No, since. So in Spanish, remember that since is con desde, right? Y el for is por. So uh, which can you use? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Del clima, ¿verdad? We mm -hmm. have the weather. Yes. Ya, yeah, ya, yeah, from the Saturday. Como comenzó mm -hmm. el Saturday, como el, ese fue el primer día, eh, cuando oh, iniciamos, oh, ¿cuál usamos? Desde. Mm -hmm. Desde. That would since, be? Since Saturday. Since. All right. Hi, Ignacio. <laughs> exactly. That would be okay. since Saturday. Mm -hmm. What about number seven? I have known Tom. ¿Qué podemos usar en la siete? What can we use? Yeah. I have known Tom since 1990. All right, Six. very good. Nelson, number eight. We have been waiting for the bus for half an hour. Very good. Karina, number nine. She hasn't lost a match. No ha perdido ningún partido. She hasn't lost a match since April. Since, since April. 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 Very since. good. Y la última. Things have changed desde, since, or for. Headmaster, digamos que es el jefe, right? Things cha have changed. For, for he De hecho, ambas se pueden, pero queremos decir desde que él se convirtió en jefe, desde que él cambió. So things have changed. Okay. Things, right? That's yeah. the key. Mm -hmm. Since yeah. he became so. the headmaster. Yes, we are going to use okay. things in this example. Okay, very good. Tenemos okay. preguntas con since for. Do you need more exercises? No more? Okay, if you need more, let me know. Okay, so guys, vamos a ir con la siguiente parte que es un poquito de reading. And for this, we are going to do the following. 
Um, it says here, vocabulary practice. Look for new words and then select one topic and explain it to your classmates. Vamos a crear cinco grupos. We are going to make five groups. Cada grupo va a tener a cargo one specific um, description here. Léanlo, try to understand it. Y luego nos explican. No nos uh, lo van a leer. Uh, Wait, alguien se le activó el micrófono. So you're not going to... So, no lo van a leer si no nos explican, right? You try to explain to us what this is about. Acá es un poquito pequeño, pero está en su manual. So, you can definitely open up your manual and check it from there. So, um, we will go to the groups and then talk about it. Nos lo van a explicar un poquito. Mm, okay, give me one second. Give me one second. Solo cambio, cambio el anfitrión, hold on. Uh, yeah, I think that's better. Yes, there we go. Okay, so group number one, I'm going to let you know who is going to be. Dolores, eh, Clary, Nelson, and René. You will go with number one, be a good person. Uh, Danis, Jackie, Jocelyn, Norberto, and Richard, you go with be a good communicator. Be technical proficient goes for Brenda, Ignacio, uh, Alex, and le voy a cambiar a Moses para que no estén con los hermanos. Wait. Okay. Uh, next group is Guadalupe, Karina, Moses, and Pedrina. La de ustedes es encourage teamwork. And Brian, Claudia, Eduardo, and Mabel, van a leer la última, you're going to read the last, that is lead by example. But the idea is, lean de qué se trata, read what it is about, y nos explican super cortito con sus propias palabras, right? And what this is about. Pueden practicarlos, everybody can practice, y luego voy a seleccionar one person de cada grupo para que nos lo explique, right? Si encuentran vocabulario nuevo, escríbanlo, write it down, Pónganlo dentro de su vocabulario nuevo y al regresar vamos a discutirlo también. So we have, tenemos five, seven minutes para hacerlo. We have a couple of minutes there. So guys, let's go. So el número de estos es el número de grupo que tienen en su grupito personal. So you can check it there. ¿Logran ver la invitación? ¿Logran ver el número de grupo? Teacher, ya le di a aceptar, pero no me, no me manda. Está en la computadora o en... Okay. The computer. Ok, en your computer, en el menú de abajo, en la parte de abajo, el último que le aparece, le voy a dejar de compartir acá porque no recuerdo, hay uno que dice más. Como los tres puntitos, right? Yes. Y dice más. Tendría que aparecer la sección de grupo. John Breakup Room. Sí, esa, exactamente. Probablemente no le aceptó y, y la dejó ahí esperando. Solo le den los Breakup Rooms y ya la va a enviar. Ok, thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Ok, thanks. Welcome, welcome. So, guys, let's go there, let's discuss it y al regresar nos lo explican. You explain this to us.
Ok, everybody, so thanks a lot for coming back. Solo esperamos eh, for everybody to be back as well. Vamos a esperar un momentito here. In the meantime, hola Carlos, hello. Thanks a lot for joining. Hello, good night. Hello, are you home already? Ya llegó, or are you at work? No, in my house. Oh, ok. Cool, cool, cool. That's nice to hear. Already. So, estamos revisando un poquito de lectura, Carlos. We are checking just some uh, reading comprehension, eh, hablando de what is needed to be a good leader in this case. So, the idea was the following. Eh, ir, de, de, revisar el vocabulario, check the new vocabulary. And the second thing era leerlo, entenderlo, y luego lo vamos a explicar. So, we are going to explain it. No necesariamente con esas palabras, sino con las suyas. Intentar describirnos o resumirnos de qué, qué fue lo que leyeron, right? That is the idea. First, vamos con vocabulario. Did you find new vocabulary? Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Did you find any new word, any new vocabulary? Teacher, eh, por ejemplo, en eh, my, bueno, el primer párrafo, mm -hmm. eh, no me acuerdo cuál era. Keep long, better. Keep going, algo así. That people and understand keep long better than English. ¿En cuál está? ¿Cuál era el de ustedes? Número uno. Number one. Por some reason, creo que tiene un poquito de... Creo que alguien me dejó el micrófono abierto, guys. And there is a little bit of uh, echo in the back. Um, ¿Creería que es eso acá? I think this is the word you mean, right? Like kingdom? Yes. Okay. Okay, any other word? ¿Qué, qué más eh, vieron? Any other word that you got from here? In paragraph four, in, mm -hmm. co in courage, in courage. Oh, okay. Encourage. Mm -hmm. Any other? Encourage teamwork is fomentar trabajo en equipo. Right? Yes, exactly. Encourage is como motivate. So you can use the word encourage or motivate. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any other? Encontrar más palabras? No, no, no more vocabulary. In fact, in number, number four, number four. In fact, what is it? Is required to see it? In line uh, four. Oh, here. Mm -hmm. That's right. In fact. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Any other word? Teacher, um, in the two, mm -hmm. you per, you per, you per. Mm. From you. Where? Uh, feedback for you per. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Upper. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, okay, very good. So let's go ahead and check this up. Eh, well, comenzando por la palabra Klingon, um, no se preocupe, <ríe> no es una palabra importante. So Klingon uh -huh. es como jerga, digamos, cualquier idioma raro, ok, de aliens y cosas así, <ríe> así que no se preocupe, solo era una descripción. Um, upper, con upper management estamos hablando de todos los puestos de arriba, upper, right, todos los que están arriba de usted, supervision, management, so upper, uh -huh. arriba. Uh, encourage, motivación, motivate, and in fact, eh, Guadalupe es para enfatizar. Cuando se dice in fact, what you're saying is de hecho, right? Está enfatizando y dando más explicación. Mm -hmm. That is the one. Okay, very good. Now let's go ahead and listen to the description, listen to what you understood from these little descriptors. So be a good person, like, que es la número uno. Uh, sorry, be a people person. ¿Qué se refiere con people person? What is this? La palabra suena rara, right? 
people, person, pero es una palabra bien útil. Um, so, group number one, ¿quién nos ayuda? ¿Quién lo quiere describir? Who wants to describe it? I have Dolores, Clary, um, René. Uh, uh, I understood the, 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 the parrot. The paragraph is a, uh, mm -hmm. the paragraph is, is a workplace in, in, in looking for a, a someone. He has a, a, como, como he has a, ciertas cualidades. Okay, some characteristics. Some characteristics, mm -hmm. for example, uh, uh, the people, the people like to work with people. Mm -hmm. The people uh, need to uh, conflict the result. Uh, mm -hmm. And the people uh, have to motivate your team mm -hmm. every day. I think okay. that. Yeah, that's a very good description, exactly. So a people person is exactly the word. Um, René mentioned a person who likes to work with other people, right? A person who has, who is a very good motivator. Hay personas que trabajan mejor con computadoras. Or you say, ay, no me gusta hablar con la gente. <laughs> I don't like talking to people. I don't like interacting. Entonces, a people person es lo opuesto. Es alguien que se lleva muy bien con las personas. So, es un adjetivo. Lo pueden usar para describirse. I am a people person. And that's, soy súper comunicativa, right? I talk a lot, I motivate people a lot, and that's the one. Do you do you prefer people? <laughs> do you prefer no me gusta la cebolla? Do you prefer people or do you prefer person? I mean, do you prefer sorry, sorry. people in person? Do you like computers or do you prefer working with computers or do you prefer working with people? Computers and machines or people? Both. Qué difícil decisión. Sí, sí. <laughs> computers. <laughs> okay. So, um, oh, si es computers and máquinas, probablemente no es muy people person, right? So, no le gusta mucho trabajar with people. That is the one. Number two, be a good communicator. ¿Quién tiene la segunda? I got Brian, Justin, Norbert, and Richard. Norbert, nos ayuda con la dos. Can you help us with two? Uh, is a good communicator. Mm -hmm. um, ¿Qué entendió? What did you understand? Uh, uh, to make a good uh, communicator, it is necessary mm -hmm. uh, using all the methods. Methods? Mm -hmm. methods? Um, yes. Uh, for example, um, Ahí no lo menciona, por ejemplo. No, it's okay, it's okay. Red, mm -hmm. eh, red, eh, red social, mm -hmm. eh, teleconferencias, eh, fake the paint, eh, rotuling, mm -hmm. etc. Okay. Okay, that's a good one, exactly. So it's just to communicate, to give your opinion, right? Uh, Norbert mentioned some ways. That's very good. Tenemos también face to face. I really like this expression. Como cara a cara, right? Face to face. Um, so you mentioned conferences, exactly. So be a good communicator is just hablar, hablar, right? Comunicar ideas. Are you a good communicator? Te comunican bien. Do you? Are you a good communicator? Yes. Yes. In Spanish. No, I mean, yes. <laughs> so, ellos aplican para los dos, English or Spanish. <laughs> okay. Number three, technically proficient. Number three is for Brenda, Claudia, eh, Dani, Eduardo, and Ignacio, and Bonilla, and Alex. Um, Eduardo, can you help us a little bit with number three, technically proficient? Okay. Uh, that point says basically that the products that we create at the company, they are not too hard, too complicated. Mm -hmm. The basic thing that you need is like to give guidance, technical mm -hmm. guidance about the, yeah. the products and to decide the strategies and methods to have a good success in the company. Mm -hmm. All right. And that's it, basically. 
Yeah, exactly, exactly. Very good. So it says here technically proficient because most of the times, especially when you are a manager, a supervisor, etc., um, you need to explain, right? You need to explain some specific characteristics. So as um, as Eduardo mentioned, pretty much is just talk about technical guidance. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Thank you so much. Number four, encourage teamwork. We said that encourage is motivate. So I have Carlos, pero se acaba de unir. I got Karina and Moses. Moses, tell us about number four. Hey, teacher, encourage teamwork. Uh, I understand that mm -hmm. teamwork is the most important mm -hmm. in, in that place. And uh, that everyone, everyone works in the same plane. There are no restrictions of the bosses with the employees mm -hmm. and they are all working together. Mm -hmm. The bosses have and the, not have the office, mm -hmm. but they are together. Uh, mm -hmm. The teamwork is the, the important. Mm -hmm. All right, amazing, yeah. exactly. So they are talking a lot about teamwork. And it says here something very important that uh, Moses mentioned, that is um, managers, supervisors, they don't have an office, but they shared the, the place, right? They shared the area with, the, um, with everybody who helps. Um, guys, for the ones who are managers, etc., do you have your office, Super supervisors, managers? Do you have offices? Or comparting, or do you share? I have office, but I uh, share. Compart share. And share with uh, other to other to co-work. Ah, okay, okay, but you have like a separate spot, a separate mm -hmm. office. Okay. What about the rest? Do you have your office, Moses? Do you have an office? Yes, uh, there are three persons in the office. Ah, okay. So you share with other people. Okay. Uh, but not with your personnel. No con los que trabajan con usted. Eh, no. Eh, eh, other supervisor. Ah, okay. Other supervisor. Okay. But this is in general that part, you know, working with the same people, working with your team, right? Pretty much. The last one, lead by example. What do you understand by lead by example? What is this? ¿Alguna vez han escuchado Lead by Example? No, is this a new word? Algo así como, no. predica con el ejemplo. Exactly, exactly, that is the one. So Lead by Example is exactly that. Que usted haga lo que pide, you know? So predicar con el ejemplo, as you said. Um, it says that the best managers are required to dress and act professionally at all times. So imagine this is very very good. Leading by example means working late and on weekends with your employees, parking with your employees, using the same restrooms as your employees. Pretty much es que no tenga ningún beneficio adicional, right? That if you say, hey Norbert, va a trabajar más? Pues usted también. <laughs> so that is leading by example. Do you lead by example? Los que tienen personal a cargo, do you lead by example? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Do you have some extra benefits? Probably. <laughs> okay, so those are part of the characteristics. Not always. Not always. I know, I know. It's hard sometimes because of the responsibilities that you guys have. Okay, take a look at this exercise. Are these statements true or false? Number one. It is more important to manage systems than people. ¿Es cierto o falso? It is more important to manage systems. I mean, trabajar con computadoras than people. True or false? Yeah, fail, fails. Mm -hmm. That's false. People is more important. False. Two, to be a, a great communicator, one should use as many tools as possible. ¿Cierto o falso? True or false? 
Remember the tools and herramientas, conferences, meetings, etc. True or false? Mm, true. True. True, exactly. That's true. true. Number three, yeah. in order to be technically proficient, giving one's opinion is enough. ¿Es suficiente solo con su opinión? Giving one's opinion is enough. True or no. false? False. 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 Yeah, False. because you explained already que necesita la parte técnica. You need the technical guidance. Four, encouraging teamwork is as important as being part of the team. Like motivate people, es importante como ser parte de. True or false? True. 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 Exactly. And the last one, if you are a manager, you can skip. Escape es como saltarse, huir, you know. So you can skip extra hour or extra work and have weekends off. La isla, ah, yo soy manager, ¿para qué voy? <laughs> you can skip extra work and have weekends off. True or false? False. Oh. 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 Oh, it's because you have to lead by example, right? Debemos de liderar por el ejemplo. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So, guys, now we, since we are finishing, vamos a terminar ahora, we are finishing this last part, um, esta unidad, vamos a terminar también con la entrevista that I mentioned previously that we are going to have. Nos hemos estado practica, preparando toda la semana to have this little job interview el día de ayer because of time no pudimos tenerla with most of you, but I want to listen to as many as possible. So, ahora sí vamos a tener like a little interview to finish the unit. Vamos a hacerla siempre in pairs, right? And vamos a utilizar parte de las preguntas que hemos practicado. So, what are some of the questions that we have practiced? Well, in general, tell me about yourself. Ayúdenme con las preguntas, please. ¿Cuáles consideran las más importantes o las más usadas? Tell me about yourself. What are your strengths? Okay, what are your strengths? Mm -hmm. What what can you bring to the company? Okay, what can you bring to the company? What else comes to your mind? Why should we hear you? Oh, okay. Or the this is bastante similar. So also, I'm going to write it right here. So why should we hire you. Okay, very good. What are your greatest strengths? Oh, okay, what are your strengths or greatest strength? Yes, very good. Mm -hmm. No hemos considerado dos preguntas muy importantes too. Uh, one of them is how do you see yourself? How do you see yourself in five years? Es una bastante común. ¿Cómo se ven en cinco años? How do you see yourself in five years? ¿Cuáles son sus planes, sus objetivos, sus metas? Right? And also, what are, what are your salary expectations? ¿Cuánto quieren ganar? <laughs> How much do you want to earn? What are your salary expectations? Que creo que en todo lugar se lo preguntan. Or, que es lo mismo. How much... Do you want to earn? ¿Cuánto quieres ganar? How much do you want to earn? Eh, girls, eh, Mabel, Brenda, eh, Pedrina, I have a question for you. Con esta, de what are your salary expectations? Is it okay? Si decimos un número, is that fine? If we say a number, or ¿cuál es su recomendación? What's your recommendation? For me. Un rango, un número, ir directo. Mm -hmm. For me, recommendation. Uh, como dije, <laughs> que la persona diga un número. <laughs> okay, a number, like to give just a number. Yes. Okay, yes. so you prefer a number. Okay, uh, Mabel, what's your recommendation? Um, un rango, puede ser. Un rango, okay. So. Okay, that, that's fine. Normally, investigamos, right? Normally, beforehand, mm -hmm. sabemos como entre cuánto y cuánto pagan. So, they mm -hmm. ask us for a number. 
Because si decimos, depende de mi experiencia, etc. No, no, no dijo nada. No, 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 no. Y siempre nos van a... No, but in English it works. You know, pero si nos piden un número. They ask for a number. So, eh, ¿cómo puedo decir mi rango? Between, right? Because it's money. So I can say between this and that. So between this... And the other one. So I would like to earn. We can use an expression. Lo podemos responder como I would like to earn. I would like to earn between this and this. So como un rango, right? I would like to earn between. En un mundo ideal. <laughs> Quiero un salario de diputada. I, I would like to earn between. 3,000 and 5,000. <laughs> okay. But of course, you can give, you know, your range. So, piensen, me imagino que todos tienen como una posición en la que quieran aplicar. Or, ya pensaron en una empresa donde les gustaría trabajar, you know, someday in the future. So, piensen en esa empresa y cuál es el rango de salarios. So, how much can you make in that company, right? And, um, okay, that's fine. Now, how do you see yourself in five years? ¿Cómo se ven en cinco años? ¿Cómo puedo responder esta pregunta? Like, de nuestras metas. In five years, I would like to be uh, in another country. Ah, and nice. I would, and I would like to learn more money. Ah, we and, like to earn more money. And I would like to be alone forever. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, so you would like to be forever alone, but okay. <laughs> si eso es una meta, it's okay. <laughs> I'm not saying anything. All right, so um, do you have any other recommendation for this? How do you see yourself in five years? Um, in my case, in five years, I see myself with my my business, my barber shop. Okay. So you're planning to get your barber shop? Okay, cool, yeah. cool. Uh, teacher. Yes. In my case, I was earning a thousand dollars. Oh, la última. How much, what are your salary expectations? Okay. So yeah, me gustaría, but, right? I would like to earn. Yeah, and so in my new job, I wanted to earn the double. Mm, okay. Wow. For example, <laughs> for example. <laughs> pero igual puede dar el rango. For, digamos entre mil y dos mil. So I would like to earn between one thousand and two thousand, right? So we can give the range. Siempre podemos mm. dar un rango. Um, no sé si Pedrina nos escucha. She was having problems with the internet. Pedrina está por ahí. Are you around? Pe Pe Pedrina. Right, growth in the close group. She has a problem with the microphone. Ah, oh, okay, okay. So her mic is not working still. Okay. Um, I just got a question because I don't know if somebody else. Eduardo, what do you do for a living? What do you do, Eduardo? I'm a financial analyst. Oh, okay, okay. Do you ever make interviews? make and make them mm -hmm. or be part of an interview no no no. that you interview people no 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 never never oh okay okay financial analyst nelson what do you do for a living i'm sorry Keisha. what do you do what, what is your job what do you do and my job mm -hmm. i work in um, I work um, like assistant account, account, account assistant. Okay, so it's with accounting. Okay, I know that uh, Karina works with import and export. Uh, Claudia, what do you do? Uh, in my case, is assist, uh, administration assistant. Okay, so you work with administration. And uh, to, to, there was another person. Dolores, what do you do? Uh, 
account time. Oh, so all of you work with numbers. <laughs> okay, so you are into accounting, <laughs> finance. Okay, okay, cool, 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 cool. So, all right, so I just think you are the ones who work in, so only Mabel, Pedrina, and, and Brenda work with um, human resources. Okay, cool. Um, before getting into this uh, conversation, interview, et cetera, girls, ¿tienen alguna recomendación para entrevistas? Do you have any recommendation for them? Cosas que se deben hacer o no se deben hacer, <laughs> o no decir. Con, con esa pregunta, lo voy a decir en español. Dígale, say it. Con la pregunta de cómo se ve en cinco años, eso depende de la empresa en la que esté aplicando y el puesto, las características que tenga, porque por ejemplo, si usted, o, eh, o en lo que esté, por ejemplo, si usted está estudiando, mínimo debe decir que pretende haber salido, por ejemplo. Ah, okay. Pero si no está estudiando, pues puede decir que desea incorporarse al estudio, o sea, que eso varía y, o si la empresa es grande y hay oportunidad de crecimiento, pues se puede decir, o lo más recomendable creo yo que, que uno lo acepta mejor es que le hablen como en general, porque si yo le digo, ah, yo pretendo poner mi propio negocio y la empresa lo que está buscando es una persona para largo plazo, no le va a gustar. Ah, ok. Entonces, usted puede decir que se ve, no sé, como en, en un lugar donde pueda desarrollarse profesionalmente, donde pueda tener responsabilidades, donde, o, o si es como le digo, una empresa grande, donde pueda crecer, eh, donde, y cosas como en general, que igual lo puede hacer ahí en otro lado o en su negocio propio, pero va a depender mucho de a qué plaza eh, esté aplicando. Por ejemplo, si es una plaza gerencial, no puede usted decir que en cinco años va, ya no va a estar ahí. Oh, ok. Porque generalmente puestos de supervisor y gerencia, se, uno cuando los contrata espera que sea más a largo plazo porque como son puestos clave, entonces uno no pretende que haya tanta rotación ahí porque eso desestabiliza y, y, y es caro al final. Pero si es un call center, por ejemplo, no sería raro que tenga aspiraciones, que quiera seguir estudiando, que quiera viajar, que, que esté por momentos, porque ya el, como le digo... El negocio es así. El, el negocio, negocio es, así. es así. Ajá, yo lo acepto, no es, no es raro, no se ve mal que haya rotación. De hecho, el call center prefiere que tenga rotación, no le gusta que se les pegue la gente. <risa> La I like that word. Nice. Gracias por la recomendación. Thank you for okay. that one. Ignacio. Teacher, in, my, in my case, it's a, it's a little participation. Yes. In five years, I see my I see myself retired. Oh, retired. really? Yeah. Retired? Yeah, retired. In, in, five? Doing costume, in five years. Uh, because I have a 29 years old and um, 29, 29 years working. No, my, my age is a, uh, sorry, my age is a uh, uh, 69, 50, 59, 59. Yeah, <laughs> okay, 59. But, oh, but, so you're very but, close. Yeah. But doing doing consulting work. Mm, nice, nice, nice. That that sounds like a good one. Uh, and thank you, Mabel, for sharing that. That's very interesting. So it's important to investigate a little bit about your the workplace, right? Que empresas están aplicando. Um, so probably that can be something like I would like to grow. I would like to be promoted, right? Me gustaría crecer, que es grow up. I would like to grow up in the company. I would like to get um, a manager position or something like that. Um, guys, les voy a dar tres minutitos. I will give you three minutes para que revisen anything, para que puedan revisar cualquier vocabulario that you need. And then, vamos a tener entrevistas, pero la voy a hacer yo. <laughs> I'm going to select some people and I'm going to be asking you some questions. Or, uh, or Brenda, you know, Mabel, Pedrina, si me quieren ayudar too, that would be nice because you have a lot of experience in this area too. 
So that would be really cool. So tres minutitos, I'll give you only three minutes. Lo pueden practicar en voz alta. If you feel more comfortable, that, that's nice. One more minute. Okay, guys, so time is over. Let's get started with the questions, right? And to make it right, um, I'm going to ask you to help me and give me one number from one to 24. So lo vamos a hacer con la lista. We're gonna go by the list. Um, mm, give me one second here. So let me just go. Uh, Ignacio, you are my first person on the screen. So give me one number from one to 24, please. Tell me a number. Yeah, I, I don't know what number how Brenda because. <laughs> no, one Maybe. number from yeah. one to 24. <laughs> <laughs> vamos a hacerlo, vamos a hacerlo eh, fair, vamos a hacerlo justo. <laughs> Va pues Ignacio. Okay. <laughs> okay, sorry. Él, él quiere que practique, yeah. you know. Uh -huh. the, 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 the number 11. Okay, 
So number 11, that is Norberto. So thank you so much, Norbert. You are the chosen person of today. Okay, teacher. There you go. Norbert, ¿a qué empresa le gustaría aplicar? Where would you like to work? Um, a company the credits. Mm, give me the number. The, I mean, the name. I'm, I'm thinking about the number still. Uh, for example, um, Scotia Bank. Okay. Um, all right. So I'm going to be your interviewer. I'm going to ask you some questions. And, um, pero va a ser super cortita. It's going to be super short. Just two or three questions. That would be. So Norbert, welcome. Uh, my name is Julia. And uh, thank you so much for your time. We are going to get started with the interview, you know. So you are entering this entry level position. Norbert, I would like to know a little bit about you. So tell me, who is Norbert? Uh, excuse me, uh, excuse me, um, I no la entendí la, la última palabra. Uh, uh, who, who is Norbert? I mean, tell me about yourself. <laughs> yes. Uh-huh. Okay, um, my name, uh, uh, my, um, for example, um, uh, good afternoon, my name is uh, Norbert. Uh, I live in Paraiso Osorio. Um, I like to uh, drive the motorcycle. Um, um, I like a uh, fox, um, chicken, sow. Um, I am, um, um, for example, my mom is. Um, my my name no perdón my mom name is Elba my father's name is Smith um, only teacher okay um tell me a, a little bit about your working experience yes um, I am how the experience in in credit um, in our the eh, contabilidad, ¿cómo se dice? Accounting. Accounting. Yes. Mm, only teacher. Okay. Um, and Norbert, uh, guys, ¿qué más le puedo preguntar? <laughs> Help okay. me with next question. Eh, Any question? Teacher, for example, a question. Yeah. If the Norbert is to work in under pressure, for example. Ah, yeah, I like it. So, Norbert, can you work under pressure? Yes. <laughs> okay. okay, okay, la pensó mucho. <laughs> okay, that's okay. All right, thank you so much for your time, Norbert. We will call you later. <laughs> okay, okay. No, I, I think you don't call him. <laughs> no, no, of course. No, that is the normal one, right? We will call you, we will let you know. <laughs> okay, that was all right, Norbert. Very good job. Uh, did you feel nervous? Se siente un poco nervioso? Not really? A little. A little? And that was shaking. <laughs> no, just kidding. Muy buen trabajo. That was a very good description. I mean, la cuestión es practicarlo hasta que se nos quede, hasta que lo grabe, right? And you got it right. So, good job con la última. Can you work under pressure? Puede trabajar bajo presión, right? Yes. Yeah. So, that is a, a little uh, hard to answer sometimes. Good. Norbert, del 1 al 24, from 1 to 24, give me a number. 20. 20. So, that is Mabel. <laughs> okay. Um, thank you so much, Mabel. Pero no sé si Mabel está. Oh, yeah, there you go. Oh, so, 
Yeah, so Brenda, do me a big favor. Entreviste a Mabel, please. Can you interview her? Trataré, teacher. Yes, you can do it. <laughs> Los demás le van a ayudar, no se preocupen. They will help you with the questions. Pero me voy a buscar las preguntas. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Oh, Mabel. Ahora doy yo. <laughs> <risa> no. Ya tengo la lista de los que quiero responder. Okay. Okay. ok, Brenda, cuando esté lista, whenever you're ready. Hello, Mabel. Hello, Brenda. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. And you? Ok, fine, fine, thank you. No. Ok, tell me about yourself, please. Okay, um, 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 uh, 40, 40 years old. I am, I have two children, one girl and one boy. Um, my okay. child, my girl is the 15 years old and my boy is the 12 years, years old. Mm -hmm. I'm living in San Salvador. I'm. A... How do you say actualmente? Actually. Currently. Actually. ¿Cómo? Currently. In, in, in currently. Not practice the 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 part. And I'm listening to the music. I like to listen to the music. I ride a bike. Uh, eventualmente, mm -hmm. eventually, eventually, and um, I have um, oh, uh, you like to learn? Yes, do you like to learn? Yes, um. Okay, uh, tell me about, tell me about your, your experience in the other company. Um, in my case, I am, uh, my work, uh, uh, in my experience is in service assistance mm -hmm. in, in a operation area um, and my activities is um, uh, making budgets um, Como se dice, and, and process design and um, I have ability to lead a big work teams and in negotiate 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 with providers and Contratación. How do you say contratación? Contracts or hiring process? I'm contra. I I had a experience a but con, part of contract personal of different areas in the operation. Mm -hmm. um, ah, um, uh, como es? I have. Uh, experience in como es atención al cliente customer service customer service with customer service and negotiation with my client um, um, básicamente eso 
only that. Okay, that was great. Nice. That was a very nice description. You. I know you got like a lot of experience in that area. Thank you so much. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Hasta tenía la lista de la lista de preguntas preparada, you know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was nada de eso, okay. okay, guys. <laughs> no. Oh, we will call you too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we will call you later. No, thank you. That was a very nice description. Unfortunately, we couldn't listen to the rest, but that was a very good sample. That was a very nice one. Guys, tomorrow comenzamos un tema nuevo, so les pido su ayuda enorme con la plataforma. No les va a tomar más de 15 minutos, creería. Uh, so please complete it for today, porque si las necesito uh, a las 7 de la mañana. <laughs> So please help me uh, complete in the platform, right? Ya vamos ya a hacer, hacer también teacher. un par de ejercicios. Gracias. Thank you so much. Solo antes de irnos, les voy a pedir, me ayuden con su camarita, me regalan confirmación que están acá, and uh, ya casi nos vamos. Anita, Ana Delmi, give me confirmation, porfa. Hello, teacher. Ahí está. Thank you, Brian. Brian. Gracias. Um, I'm missing. Creo que Dani tuvo que salir. I think he left. Uh, Ignacio. Thank you so much. Uh, Marvin López, gracias. Gracias por entrar. Espero que mejore. Hopefully you get better. Um, Mabel. Present. Thank you. And Carlos. Present. Gracias. Thank you so much. Okay, guys. Now, um, I already have, ya tengo la asistencia de los demás, así que estamos súper bien. Now, a little something. Creo que um, con la tarea número dos tenían dificultades, right? You were having like some issues with that one. Um, ¿Hay algún ejercicio específico que quieren que revisemos? Is there any specific one? Norbert? Yes, exercise two. Okay, exercise two. ¿Cuál de todos? De, de plataforma. Um, teacher, casi todos. Eh, pero está en la sección uno, en la, el ejercicio dos. Mm, yes. En la clase 2, you mean, en la sesión 2. En la que dice, unscramble the words to form sentences, ¿verdad? Yes. Yes, yes. yes. Ok, ¿cuál es el no, problema? Which of them is... Hola. is... <risa> este... Ve, re, 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 este que lo, really quick, puede ser solamente el orden en el que estamos utilizando. Uh, for example, number one, que tienen en la primera? What do you have in the first? Read. Teacher. Teacher. No, ajá, por eso, por eso. Dígame en cuál específica tienen. Porque Teacher. puede ser que se la tengan bien, no la pero solo está no. algo movida. Number one, uh, it will be a great opportunity to study abroad. Okay. Um, uh, that okay. Pero la yeah. number, number two, no. Uh-huh. ¿Qué tiene la número dos? What do you have? O que probaron ya. Yeah. What choice, yes. choices? A mí me falta el number three. Be. Vamos con la número dos, Claudia mentions. ¿Qué okay. tienen en la dos? What do you have in two? Y luego vamos con la de eh, Clary. O nos pueden indicar con qué iniciaron la número dos. ¿Cuál es la primera? Los que ya les salió bien. Training could be beneficial okay. for our employees. Uh -huh. Okay. Thank you so much, Eduardo. Okay, there you got, there you have it. Number three. ¿Cuál es la primera palabra de la tres? What is the first word in number three? What do you have in the third one? A training. Working less hours will be benefit. Exactly. So, comenzamos con working less. 
you know, con, con ese inicio ya se pueden uh, orientar un poquito qué es lo que sigue. So that would be working less. Ese es el inicio. Um, what about number four? ¿Cuál es la primera palabra? ¿O con qué inician? Bueno. Working so, less hours uh, will be. Uh, another yeah. Working. Oh, this is number uh -huh. three. Okay. So that would be number three. Number three, comiencen con working less. Number four, comiencen con weekends of. Ese es el inicio para que luego ustedes se, se organicen, right? Organicen la idea. Y la última, number five, comienza con María. That is María. So, I think, eso les puede ayudar para organizar un poquito eh, qué sería lo siguiente. What is your verb, your complement, etc. So, eso es con el ejercicio número dos. Exercise number three. Después les dice, de choose the best option. Solamente de seleccionar si es things and four. El tema que acabamos de revisar también. Um, question, tarea no, number four, es más que todo con un poquito de employment history, con eh, parte de las aplicaciones cuando tenemos una, un formato. Y la tarea número cinco del día de ahora es un poquito de repaso de todo. Can, can't, since, for, in, at, y eso es todo. So creería que la más difícil quizás es la número dos, right? That would yeah. be number two. Okay. Um, any other question? Any other doubt? No more. So, um, let's start working on it. Comiencen a trabajar con ella. Si tienen dudas o todavía no les sale después que ya intentaron varias veces, let me know. Me mandan captura y las reviso, right? And I can take a look at them. So, chicos, los dejo ir a descansar. Thank you so much for being here. Nos vemos mañana. Eh, Dolores, solo si me regala un par de minutitos, that would be amazing. Eh, los demás que descansen. Sí. De Good night. Bye. 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 I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Pero, solo una pregunta. Dígame. Eh, Good evening, solo se utiliza eh, cuando usted. Cuando llega. Ajá. Y, pero ya cuando yo, este, cuando ya uno se va, eh, tiene que ser good night. Sí, porque cuando me despido es good night. Mm -hmm. Ah, ok. Thank That you. is the one. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> bye bye. See you tomorrow. Regáleme un minutito, Dolores. Ahorita. Ok. Just a second. Yes, I. Uy. Yes, I clean this one. And I clean this up as well. Okay, there we go. So thank you so much. Gracias por quedarse. Solo le voy a robar un par de minutitos. I'm just going to steal some time. Uh, y me alegra que lo tenemos como bien temprano. Ya, ¿Cómo sigue? Ya está un poco mejor. Are you ya mejor, better? ya. Solo, el, eh, solo ese día que, que me, que me noqueó. Me imagino, dicen que está pegando fuerte, pero me alegra ya verla y escucharla bien animada. Se ve más que Ay, sí, bueno. No, y que quedó una debilidad usted, qué gran sueño. Ya, yeah, lo mismo me pasó. Exactly the same happened to me. Sí, pero, una pero pesada. Bueno. Mm -hmm. Sueño. Pero ya me siento you know. mejor. Vaya, qué bueno. Eso sí me alegra, mire. Well, um, Well, first, normalmente el one on one eh, lo utilizamos para revisar como algún tema, algo que esté pendiente, uh -huh. pero antes me gustaría saber un poquito más de usted. Yo no, know, normally en la clase es un poco difícil porque son varios, <risa> pero I don't know, sí. me gustaría saber how you feel, cómo se siente, cómo se siente con este grupo, um, eh, siente que va avanzando, hay algún área en específica donde le pueda ayudar. Se lo voy a decir en español porque en inglés me cuesta. No hay problema, ya, yeah, go ahead. Sí, este, mi problema es que me cuesta entender cuando nos estamos comunicando, cuando son muchas palabras, eh, me cuesta captar la idea. Eso más mm. que nada. La parte El de listening. listening. Eso. Ok, ok. Cabal, eso, eh. eso me cuesta. 
sé que tengo que yo estar mejorando mi, mi vocabulario, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Estarlo este, enriqueciendo día a día. Y, eh, me he propuesto, pues, este, en este módulo tratar de, de avanzar con eso, con el vocabulario, a para ver. poder tener um, más fluidez cuando hablo. Yes, of course. Y la, par la parte de práctica de grupos nos ayuda bastante con eso. Porque uh -huh. como sí, sí. escuchamos y nos obligamos también a entender lo que están sí. diciendo. Sí, cabal, okay. eso sí. Con listening. All right. Uh -huh. pero, pero con listening, eh, normalmente con listening hay un par de situaciones. La primera puede ser por la velocidad, la otra es por el vocabulario o, por, o la otra puede ser por el sonido. Que ahorita, ¿qué es lo que siente que uh -huh. le hace más, le cuesta más? Por el vocabulario. Que el vocabulario. Palabra y no la identifica. Uh -huh. okay. Ahí me quedo. Ahí me quedo. Okay. Y se queda pensando. Entonces, solo me quedo con contento. lo que medio entendí. Ah, no, uh -huh. pero está bien entonces. So we are good. Uh -huh. uh, but, uh -huh. Vamos a hacer un ejercicio. Um, le voy a compartir ahorita. I'm going to share with you. Ahorita que terminemos, escríbame, por favor. Yo le comparto el ejercicio. Lo que vamos a hacer es esto. Se llama técnica de shadowing. Um, uh -huh. Sí, ok. Lo que vamos a hacer es esto. Usted lo escucha, right? You listen to that one. Y obviamente vamos a ver vocabulario nuevo, pero... Eh, este ejercicio uh -huh. tiene, tiene escrito lo que usted va leyendo. Entonces usted lo lee ah. con la misma velocidad, con la misma entonación. Nos va a ayudar con pronunciación. Nos va a ayudar también con, eh, con entonación, con ese sonido cuando subimos, uh -huh. bajamos, eh, con fluidez, porque me obliga a hablar un poco más rápido. Uh -huh. eh, sí. Como cuando estamos pequeños, right Que uh -huh. imitamos a la gente. Si alguien dijo, me gusta esto, usted dice, ah, me gusta esto. La, la uh -huh. misma entonación entonces mm, este ejercicio okay. de shadowing es para eso de ser posible y ser es posible después que complete la parte de escucharlo y repetirlo eh, escúchelo ya sin la letra verdad e intente uh -huh. escribirlo todo lo que vaya escuchando ah, okay. vaya lo escribiendo para ver cómo me recuerdo qué significa, do I remember, identifico este sonido o todavía no lo identifico. So we can do that. Ah, ok. Eh, te lo voy a compartir ejercicio. Es muy bueno. Y también eh, uno de los compañeros comentaba estos días que está practicando con historias. So eh, se puede ir a internet, YouTube, etcétera, muchos uh -huh. lugares. Y hay historias como para niños, historias de la... Eh, de la caperucita roja, de historias directamente para niños, ah, pero sí. en inglés. Entonces usted la escucha uh -huh. y la va escribiendo en You Write It Down, porque de esa manera ah, me obligo okay. a identificar qué es lo que están diciendo. So, probemos con este ejercicio, eh, no se lo pido para mañana, right? Tómese su tiempo cuando tenga tiempo libre, en el lunch o, en las, o cuando ya no haya que hacer, you know? uh -huh. <ríe> y está descansando, so try to complete it. Y me da después su opinión, yo no si le funcionó, si no le funcionó, para que podamos ver de qué otra manera o qué otro ejercicio le puedo brindar. Uh -huh. Ah, ok, so perfecto. Sí, me parece great. bien. Great, great, great. Cualquier y, cosa, dígame. Le quería consultar, fíjese que con respecto a lo que estamos haciendo, lo de la tarea, uh -huh. que sé de que en la número dos, la que estábamos viendo, pero en el numeral cuatro, yo ya intenté de varias formas y no me sale. Esa es la única que no me sale. Se la voy a decir para ver si yo estoy escribiendo algo mal. Permíteme un segundo, solo la abro aquí para revisarla. Me hice el ejercicio 2, la número 4. Sí. Uy, es que no. Permítame. Número 4. Número cuatro. Permítame un segundo que no quiere abrir. Vaya, léamela. Vaya, dice Weekends of will, uh -huh. will be a good option to have a happy staff. Y punto. Okay. 
Sí, está súper bien, solo que esa, ese ejercicio en específico tiene como un error, digamos, de formato. Entonces, para, para, que, para no complicarnos la vida, cambia la palabra staff por la palabra employees. Ah, con doble E. Con doble E. Sí. Vamos a ver, emplo. Y que me he estado dando, me he estado dando duro todo. <risa> no, es que ese, ese Esperando sí tiene. Esperando one one. <risa> ese sí tiene, ah, oh, ya sabía, ese sí tiene error de Y entonces ahora iba a ser el día. Entonces no, ahora aprovecharlo. En Plugis, sí, cabal, y, y me avisa si le funciona. No, una, dos, E. Ah, ok. Ajá, en Plugis. Y me confirma si le funciona. Sin S. Sin eh... S. ¿Cómo no? Lleva una S. Employees. Employees. No me sale. ¿Qué? Weekend of will be. Week, weekends en plural, ¿verdad? En plural. Weekends of. of will be. Uh -huh. A good option. Yes. To have. Uh -huh. A happy employees. Tiene una A de más. A happy. Quítale la A. Ah, le quito la A. Uh -huh. Entonces, pero van dos A. Bueno, pero la voy a quitar. A ver qué tal. Ah, sí, tiene razón. Está mal. Bueno, la voy a escalar. Ajá, pero ah, no, ya, no pero ya me sale quitándole esa A. Sí, sí, entonces. Ah, la A está de más. Y la está. todas las palabras, vean. Pero hay dos. Tiene a. toda razón. Sí, uh -huh. una A es extra, está extra. Ajá, no la necesita. Sí, pero bueno, ah, ya ah, no pues salió, sí, así hoy, que hoy sí me salió bien. <ríe> ok, ok. Sí, ahí nice, estamos nice, bien, nice. Perfect. So, ahorita que terminemos, le envío el, link, el, el ejercicio, right? I'm going to send you the exercise. Uh -huh. Okay. okay, gracias por su tiempo. Bien. Nice talking to you. Me alegra tenerla back. Ya sabe, Muchas a la hora de cualquier cosa, paciencia. escríbame. No, you know, okay. si necesita algo, write to me and, y ahí voy a estar pendiente. All right. Que okay. descanse. Have a good night. Muchas gracias. Buenas noches. You're welcome.